So I was in Cannes when you won the, the camera door for Party Girl. I never saw Party Girl, mm -hmm. but I just wanted, I wanted to get a sense of what that narrative was for you because it was the opening film of the section, of the Air Southern Regard section, and somehow in the equation, I, th I thought never did I think that this would win the top prize. Why? I have no clue, but I th I'm thinking a jury who sees 20 movies will not stick to the first one. So how do you relate that experience? How do you look back on that experience? And how, how did it inform you on making, really um, giving you the courage to make your next film with very little time in between? It's not that little time. Well, it's, a, what, it's, it's less than three? It's it's for four years. Okay, four. Okay. Um, and I took two years to, to write. Um, um, it was very. It was an amazing experience. Uh, this uh, this um, picture in Cannes, uh, particular. Yeah. Um, very exhausting <laughs> experience. Um, I couldn't um, imagine that success could be um, um, so stressful. Uh huh. And in fact, it was not easy to, to make a um, second film after that because uh, I didn't want to, to to make something too close. Yeah, fall but, into the same trappings of that? Yes, or? because it was a, a very... Um, um, sorry. It's okay. It was a very special film. We did it to our three directors uh, with my best friend and my girlfriend and, uh, and it was about the, the family of my friend and... Uh, in, in a way, it, it was not possible to, to make it again. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to imagine what I, I could, where I could go elsewhere. Um, but I wanted to, to keep my, um, in a way, my, my eye on things. So um, I chose to, I, I really like to work with non-professional actors. Yeah. So I wanted to keep this, but somehow also uh, explore uh, new things so I, I chose to for this film I chose to uh, to work with a professional actor and I, I mixed both uh, both, uh, both worlds uh, uh, yes both worlds uh, something I, I saw before that was impossible because I, I saw it was very uh, two very different kind of uh, acting uh -huh. um, but this time I wanted to try things I mean uh, not to, to reproduce something um, and I, I don't remember your question. Uh, uh, how how come that uh, we won the Camera d'Or? I don't really know. I think it it might be because the, the film was um, different uh -huh. from the the other film. Maybe because those non-professional that were playing their own um, story. And maybe it was um, moving for for the jury. I don't know. We were very surprised. To win Your second film, uh, congratulations! You won in Venice. You won Best Director Prize. That's pretty awesome. Um, when I was thinking of this film throughout, I was thinking of like this is what it feels like when you remove a band aid really quickly. It really stings at the beginning, and then it's just like, oh, that happened, and then you sort of like forget that it happened. Um, why is this a story that you needed to tell? Um, I think for very personal reasons. Um, I was. Uh, myself um, having a very hard time with love mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I think I was close to depression okay <laughs> and you know when when you're 40 sometimes you you have things that come back to your face like uh, um, with my own um, failure in love um, I I had this feeling that the way my parents um, um, separated was really uh, linked to what I was feeling at this precise moment, so I had this necessity, in a way, to um, to make a film um, that tried to express what I was trying to understand in my in my life. Um, and I, what was I was trying to understand is how how can I be able to to love. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, so it's a very simple question, and, and the film, I think, it's not a film um, about the narrative, the dramaturgy is not very complicated, it's very simple, it's just a family trying to uh, survive through um, big events for them, that the, the, the departure of the mother. Yeah. Um, and I wanted just to make something very simple to, 
to talk about love in different age, different moment, um, when it begins, when it ends, and how people are, um, in the same event can react very, very differently. And, and I don't know the word in, in English, but you know the malentendu, qui yeah, peut court. Yeah, and uh, misunderstandings. The misunderstandings, yeah. That you can live in a family, um, uh, you're trying to make some, something good uh, because you love the other, but it's ex precisely what is bad for him. Yeah, and, you, you, and the, you, I mean, it's common knowledge, but you tend to hurt the ones you love the most. Yes. And and you, yeah. Yeah, um, and and I think I, I was not able to to talk about anything else because it, it was the only thing that I had in mind. Uh, how come that I am not able to success in love? And, uh -huh. and and also I just realized. That when I was a teenager, I, I really, uh, I was very, very hard on my father uh, when my, my mother left, and um, and then I was able to understand as an adult that I, I need to, to, to to say that someone was guilty at this time, but it was really stupid. Yeah. And I, and I think in a way I had to apologize for this. <laughs> so, so you made a piece of art. That's great. Um, what I particularly like is how, uh, you know, a sen uh, um, uh, from the get-go, we think that it's uh, very much the fa the patriarch. We think it's the father's story, and, uh, and and like what you're saying right now is I, I like how it how the complexities of being in relationships sort of trickles down into the the next generations. Um, I thought that was a really nice subtle touch. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Um, Let's talk about the film title because for, I think for the first half of the film I said, why did Claire not put a question mark? Mm -hmm. um, and then I said, and then in the second half it, it sort of answered the question is like, no, like, like there should not be a question mark because that's like a, um, a, a statement I think you're making there. Um, what can you say about uh, the chosen title, the French title? The French title, yeah. because the, the English title is... It's, it's a hard English. translation, yeah. but... Yeah. But I, so, so for the French title, I didn't want to put a question mark, but for me, it's also, of course a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, um, um, it's like a little bit ironic, I, I think. It, did this title come from a song, a French song, um, a rock band, uh, um, and it's, the song is talking about a, a guy who was really, really drunk and he's saying again and again now i know i know what's love and you know that he doesn't know uh -huh. um, and um i was i was just thinking that love is something you you cannot explain and you can not tell uh, at this period as i told you uh, i was really thinking very hard <laughs> i read philosophy <laughs> i was trying to um to find answers and and I couldn't get answers and so I think a film is a good way to to film uh, things yeah um, because it's not like if you had to write a text to explain what what love is but you can maybe um, you can feel it um, for the um, characters you can and um, and I think at the end of the film you can feel the love between the um, characters, mm -hmm. even if uh, maybe you know that they're they're gonna be um, um, uh, that the father is gonna be along very soon. Yeah. <laughs> even if you know that the girls um, maybe won't be able to have a, a a love story, or but you can feel love between them. Yeah. And you don't really know what it is. But yeah. It, but it is, <laughs> you know. Um, so yes, maybe at the end it's, it's a t statement, but um, I think um, it's something that you can feel, but you cannot tell. Yeah. Maybe like I don't know if you you've, you've seen it, but in the film you have um, polyphonic uh, s s songs. Yeah. And uh, uh, chorale. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I I think love is pretty much something like this, just trying to harmonize. Uh, <laughs> Voices, yeah, 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 to make it um, like uh, sound, but but nothing else than this. That's Something an interesting that you're trying Include to include um, a sequence of a um, of a, a ballet um, 
or contemporary ballet in in your film and it's a long s sequence where bully's characters engage with the television set i i thought what is what is claire doing here she, it's so she's spending so much time with that scene obviously from the point of view of the character he's a little bit he's in a you know uh He's in a in a, 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 spa a space and time frame where 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 he doesn't really have control on the, on his um, on his uh, thoughts in a way, um, but I thought it was really a ballsy choice to to keep the camera on that. I was wondering if you could elaborate on 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 prolonging uh, a TV sequence, if you will. That uh, this um, sequence that he's looking at, at in the TV, yeah. um, it's an extract from a ballet um, which is called uh, Le Parc de Angelin Page Locage. And for me, this really particular um, moment in this ballet is uh, really expressing what love is in a very few movements. I mean, it's just a kiss and, and someone who's flying with, with the kiss. And <clears throat> at the beginning, I wanted this ballet to be part of my film because I was thinking that this guy with a single movement was able to express something very very strong uh -huh. um, and then I had this um, idea around the drug and the father being drugged by the by his daughter um, and I didn't know how to um, to direct this precise moment uh, when he would be uh, uh, fucked up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Drug. and I was thinking that maybe it could not be seen in his face but but try to 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 find something that express what he's feeling mm -hmm. and and so there was this moment that I realized that this ballet could be the really um, thing to to understand what is feeling inside and and also what love is, and as you maybe noticed in the film, um, there is a very particular um, relationship uh, uh, for the character uh, to culture. Yeah. Um, for me, it's really his way to express his uh, sensitivity, and uh, and um, so for me, it was like a combination of thing uh, that was really helping me to. Um, to, to, to mettre en scène, I don't know the word for mettre en scène. Uh, mise en scène, mise en scène, yeah. For the mise en scène of um, uh, something that a lot of people have done already, what is it to be drugged? Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to um, to get, um, you know... Um, yeah, I could just, like, camera distortion and yes, like, and yeah, point of view. This, yeah, but, but something just um, very expressive, like dance, um, for me it was, uh, it was possible to to, uh, to feel what drugs was, was doing to him mm -hmm. and also I come from um, uh, at school I, I studied the uh, editing so I think it, the way I, um, I work in mise-en-scene is very um, related to uh, what uh, ed editing can bring to yeah. what, what happened when you put two things um, just close uh, next to yeah, yeah. And, and what it produce on them. So, so for me, it's two different things. This ballet and but put it like by the by side by side. Side and by yeah. side can can produce something. Uh -huh. But didn't you like this moment? Oh no! I, I actually I thought what I was thinking about when I saw this moment and felt this moment is I I'm for, I'm thinking. It takes. Um, I, th I think it's brave to take the film's potentially most cathartic moment and place it at that juncture. This is like the third way of the film. Mm -hmm. You would never see that in American cinema. American cinema, that moment would have been left for the end. Um, and I like how it entangles a whole bunch of different things. I mean, it's 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 the his young daughter's way of. Um, Sort of like readdressing, or, or again, she, she felt she feels so much hurt from him, so she she wants to do that, but her reaction to that is one that's that's um, uh, very kind and 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 loving, and so it, I think that's what the film's about. It's negotiating relationships and trying and 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 also and, each time you're trying to hurt someone, maybe you can. 
<laughs> have a very very different um, results and, and, and something very good can happen yeah know? yeah and when you want to do something good for someone it can really blow up in your face yeah, yeah. but uh, you, you see uh, in the film uh, Mario the, the, the main character is trying to find what he, he wants to express on the stage about him mm -hmm. and is not able to find this uh, sentence that he, he's supposed to uh, and I was thinking that maybe even it, it it can be a little bit ridiculous for for him to um, to dance on the stage um, as because he he has seen a professional dancer and he's trying to to make something. Um, I, I was I was thinking that it can be very touching to see this big guy not really able to say something, but able then to to make something very very uh, spectacular yeah. in a way. Yeah. Um, but also very simple, like just a kiss, you know. The ki the kiss in this film, um, the idea of the kiss. Normally, we in cinema, kiss is about um, romance. It's about uh, even to a, s a certain degree, perhaps a violent degree, perhaps ownership. And in this film, it, it really is an act of um, of healing. And I thought there's there's this another powerful scene where. You know, I was thinking about all these characters, and all these t characters are negotiating. They're in constant negotiations. They're not wearing yellow jackets like in the streets of Paris, but they're negotiating. They're negotiating how they want to feel, how they want to act, how they want to um, um, be understood. And there's that one scene. There's this one scene where it's a really tricky scene. Again, it's it's him. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but um, it's him and his professor. Mm -hmm. And, um, and yeah, there, it's such a loaded scene, but then again, it's such a natural and kind scene. Um, how did you how did you go about writing that? How did you like the me methodology behind? In fact, I, I, I the, the play the the play that is in the film really exists, and um, this girl is really um, like a teacher for for she she she. She she go all over the world with this uh, this troop, yeah. And in each town town, uh, um, it's 100 people from the city that has to make this the, the em embrace each other. Not embrace each other, but just try to say something about them or okay. maybe sing or maybe dance or um, and each time it's very very fragile but but because it's 100 person you you have like a, a picture of the city and and the relationship between the, the people and it's it really creates a, a bond uh -huh. between uh, people that are sometimes very very um, opposed uh, politically yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and so I, I've seen this play and I was thinking that it was interesting for my character to to not only be passive uh, about culture but also be involved in um, uh, something like this. And um, and when I, I was following this troupe um, in other cities, I've seen how a lot of people just fall in love <laughs> during this um, this um, short period that they are um, meet, me, meeting each other for the play, and uh, and often they fall in love with. Uh, with a teacher, of course, um, just like child, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, and it was very moving to, to see all those guys being uh, and girls being um, like very um, um, disarmed, and, yeah. and disarmed, yeah, by, by what they were feeling uh, during this um, this play. And um, because I know very well this uh, this young actress uh, Antonia, I know she's very 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 generous with those people. The time she spent with them is very. Um, she's really trying to heal people from. Mm -hmm. But then she disappears each time. She she goes somewhere else. Else and sometimes people even try to follow her. That's so interesting. <laughs> and she's she's very. Uh, she's someone who's very able to give them something very real at this precise moment. But then they have to live there. Yeah. Go back to their life. Yeah. Um, so that inspired me this moment uh, between them and I was thinking that maybe Mario was not able to fall in love again um, so quickly but but even because he was um, understanding that um, if he was going down to depression it would be bad for, 
for the girls and that he had to find a way to to feel better yeah um, I think I was touched by the idea that he would simply ask this this girl because he can feel his generosity yeah, 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 yeah. just to help him to just pass through this moment by a very very little thing like a kiss yeah and also because you know he's about 50 and and I don't know I, I'm not 50 yet but what is it to, to be involved in a couple for years and maybe not have sexual relationship um, and maybe not kiss and rediscover um, at this age what is it to kiss someone um, just like the daughters yeah. just discover love by yeah. kissing yeah and um, that's it <laughs> great um, I'll, I'll let you go with one final question um, what are your your without asking you what your next project is what are you curious in exploring now what are what are perhaps uh, themes or, or ideas that uh, that you're, you're sort of like uh, entertaining um, <clears throat> At this moment, I, I'm really thinking about um, um, all my films are shot in my hometown, and mm -hmm. I, I would like to find a way not to do this <laughs> again. Co-productions, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I'd like to try something um, in two countries. Okay. Because I, th I think I'm I'm I was born and raised uh, in a border yeah. between France and Germany, and somehow I I'd like to explore. I don't know if it will be France and Germany. Uh, uh, but you know, I, I'd like to find a way to explore two countries' um, relationship. Yeah. So the this parallels and paradox. Theor yeah. Theoretical for yeah. the moment, but you know, young teenage age exchange or. Maybe. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Claire. I really thank appreciate you. it. Merci. Merci.